Hello everyone, welcome back to Lifeless Planet. Alright, I don't know if I did actually bug this lift last time, but it seems like it doesn't actually matter because when I loaded back in, it actually took me to before all of this happened, so everything's been reset, which is wonderful. So, let's do this properly, if this is indeed what I'm supposed to do. Alright, drop that. There we go, don't fall off. Okay. No, don't... There we go. Yeah, I'm probably supposed to put this in. I wonder if I have to put all of them. It does seem rather large in a single stone. Doesn't seem like it, it would be enough. But, I don't know, maybe it is. Hmm. I kind of want to jetpack out to that corner, but... That would be pretty stupid, so let's not do that. Oh, look at that. It's... It's shooting a beam at the door. Alright, well let's go see if one is enough. And let's see if this lift does indeed go all the way down if you stay on it. Because last time I jumped off and then it just, like, stopped. Yeah, it really did bug out or something. That's a sick beat that that door's laying down. Listen to that. Nice. Top left, top right, and then... Hot springs. I was about to say something looked like it was steaming. Look at that. Well, let's go get in the jacuzzi. The space jacuzzi. Actually, it would probably melt my suit off my skin. Uh, 
I wonder if I could make it up there. Oh god, okay, no, 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 no. That's not gonna happen. Whoa, is it? It can't be snow, can it? What is that? Something... Something's coming from the sky. Wait, it's coming from the tops of these hills. I wonder what it is. Jetpack. It took away my fun. Thing you're saying because it's really loud. What the hell was that? I went like five feet into the fucking air. Why did I die? Jesus. There we go. Whew, those things are not fun to use. I feel like there's got to be something up here. But there probably isn't. But there might be. And there isn't. Gonna read that uh, note or log in a second. As soon as I get away from this extremely loud geyser. Okay, what the hell is he saying? <laughs> it's called, the log is called Water Park. Just like a water park, except not as fun, and may cause spontaneous death for no good reason. I've entered an area with unusually high geothermal activity. There are hot springs all around, and geysers shooting up out of the crust. I'm not as nimble as the woman at climbing rocks. I wonder if I can make use of these fountains to boost me up. My suit should protect me from the scalding hot water, but it could be... But it could still be quite a ride. 
It was quite a ride, and unfortunately, I, I was not tall enough to ride it. Secrets? Damn it. Whoa. Look at that. I'm guessing if I completely submerge my body, I'll probably instantly die. It's such a beautiful deep blue. It's like turquoise around the edge, around the rim, and then deep blue in the center. It's like I'm supposed to go that way, but there's gotta be secrets around here. I want my samples. There's got to be something around here. Down here? There. Yeah. Could be over there. I don't think so. If it was over there, it'd probably be on top of that hill. And it's not. Could be hidden behind there. I really wish I had my boosters make traversing this so much quicker. I like how the environment changes so much in this game. From hot springs to an old forest. To a dam, to power plants and all these different environments. It's just very cool. It's always changing up the locations that you're in. It's even bigger than the other one. I just want to go swimming in it, but I'd probably just fall like a stone. It's not like you can really enjoy swimming when you're in a spacesuit. Kind of takes the fun out of it. Well, at least you don't have to worry about water in your ears. Yeah, I mean, is that ash coming from the top of this... this hill? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Please don't kill me again. Oh, this is a pressure puzzle, isn't it? I need to cover up these so that this geyser has more pressure.
Um, okay. Another random switch of environment. I guess I've been going for a while. Holy shit. I think that was maybe ash that I saw before. That's a freaking volcano. I guess we're going to test the limits of my suit. And it's thermoregulatory abilitas. Inferno. So now I'm not just falling into a, an empty canyon. Into an empty abyss, but I'm falling into an empty canyon abyss of lava e doom. The stakes have been raised. Uh, is there rocket fuel somewhere? Oh, there's a building over there. Oh, that's probably where the rocket fuel is, right? This feels like this would burn my uh, feet a lot. What do you know? Oh my god. Wait. That... That's a canister of, like, jet fuel. And it's next to lava. Wouldn't it have exploded, uh, exploded a long time ago? Don't need to worry about my skin my skin feeling clammy. Right, so I'm guessing places like this will insta kill me if I step on them. Only one way to go. I feel adventurous. Let's try to hit that. This lava-derived glass confirms recent volcanic activity in this region. <laughs> I'll get back to that in a second. I'm always amazed at the deep black color of obsidian. Even more amazing that I found it on an extrasolar planet. Wait, this lava-derived glass confirms recent volcanic activity in this region. Um, you know what else confirms recent volcanic activity in this region? Oh, I don't know, the fucking flowing volcano up there? Shooting geysers of lava everywhere? That might do it. Confirmed. Oh, I see. Up here. Hmm. There's an old radio tower over there. I wonder if I could make it. Actually, maybe I have to. Depends, where am I supposed to go? I mean, when you have this extended boost mode enabled, there's got to be a lot of areas where secrets could be held. Like, could I make it all the way over there? No, I don't think I could. I'm almost certain I could. It looks like that's where I'm supposed to go, though, because I see green. 
but I can go this way. Actually, I think I can make it around, actually, if I go past there, up there. Um, let's see what's, what's this way, though. Just a dead end? I am medium rare. <laughs> yeah, nothing but a dead end. Okay. Other way it is. go all the way around over there, but I could also just go straight there. Eh, let's try it. Okay, so if I cover up the other one, this one's probably going to shoot out as well. Why would I want to cover them up, though? Certainly I can't ride the geysers of lava, right? Because that would kill me. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Am I supposed to ride it? Let's just cover this one up, too. Am I going to have to get on top of that thing? Where does it go? I think I am. M maybe. And then I go the other way? Yes, yeah, so I don't think this way was optional. I think I had to do this, actually. anything over here. I think it's just an alternative pathway to get here, but just in case. Yeah, that's all it is. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like it's got some planks on it. Well, not planks, but suspiciously plank-like metal structures on it that are perfect for walking. Did I just hear someone coughing? She wants to go all the way up there. Okay. No problem. Spaceman of the rescue.
explains how she's able to breathe the atmosphere. Uh, what explains it? The Russian woman appears to have greatly modified biology. While traversing a volcanic region, she began to suffocate. Oxygen from my suit appeared to be of no help, and she only recovered upon intake of exhaled gases, including carbon dioxide. It appears her body is somehow partly photosynthetic, able to intake CO2 and convert it to oxygen, like plants do on Earth. While this could explain her survival in an oxygen-poor atmosphere, I don't understand the science behind this observation. another one of those things. Well, she's taking her sweet time. At least she's not running away from me anymore. Alright, we gotta power that door before we can open it. I'm getting really bad performance all of a sudden. Really, really bad performance. Is this a puzzle? Some sort of a blocky puzzle? Yeah, holy crap, I keep getting like 15 FPS or something. It slows down the game and it seems to slow down how fast I can move the camera too. This is as fast as I can move it. And it's a speed. Alright, where am I going? Can I make it up there? I don't think so. No, there's no way. Am I going to have to find some space C4 and blow something up again? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with blowing stuff up. Pretty sure I'm not supposed to go over here. I could get behind it if I don't slip off. Oh, wait. Maybe I am supposed to get back here. Yeah, I guess I am. Oh god, what have you done, Arm? There you go. Ah. And now I climb it. Gotcha. You know, I'm kind of amazed that she's alive. I mean, she's, uh... She has photosynthetic abilities. I 
I mean, she's kind of, like, plant-like in some ways. And we basically killed off all the plant life on this planet. Oh my god. Trying to do this when I'm intermittently getting between 15 and like 20 FPS is not pleasant. Huh. Perfect. Right in the bowl. Oh, now it's all covered in dirt. It's been on the ground. Okay, at least with this level transition, I actually can see where I came from. Crater. Haha, <laughs> I'm faster than you. There's a light over there. <laughs> a house on the edge of nowhere. Look at this lonely structure. Wouldn't that be amazing to have a house on the edge of a crater? I don't know if that'd be awesome or just really depressing. Oh, jet fuel down there. Much to our dismay, the ecological impact of our exploitation of the green fire was vicious. The plant life receded rapidly. We theorized that the moss was the primary source of food for all the life on this planet. Unfortunately for our civilization here, the decrease in moss not only meant the decrease in power, but also a decrease in oxygen. Human and plant alike began to die. As luck would have it though, one of the doctors noticed an oddity in town. One of our assistants... Uh... Aelita? I'm gonna go with Aelita. Was keeping a garden. And it was thriving. We attempted to discover its, its secret, but Aelita was strangely defensive. 
Apparently her child had died in the early stages of the oxygen shortage. Aelita's refusal to cooperate and share her secret forced our hand. Soldiers came threatening to burn the garden, but when Aelita moved to protect her plants, they grew stronger. Her touch made them react, brought them to life. Regarded then as a tool, Aelita was taken, imprisoned, and forced to undergo terrible experiments. We severely altered her on a genetic level by injecting an abundance of native DNA into her body from preserved moss cultures. While she roared in pain and protest, we took her humanity away on a molecular level. Aelita was more of a plant than a human when we were finished. Her eyes took on a brilliant green color and her lungs filled with CO2. But it was a success. Her footsteps invigorated the ground in her wake with small sprouts of life. The moss responded to her touch, rising up from the dust. I do not expect Aelita to forgive us, but she is the only hope to restore the balance of life on this world. Without Aelita, this planet will remain in decay for the rest of time. That was their plan to reinvigorate the planet, is modify a woman into a plant-like creature and have her walk everywhere? How does that even work? Do they just want her to travel everywhere and bring life everywhere she goes by touching everything? Hmm. What did that say in the beginning, though? Yeah, so they started exploiting the moss. And when they took a lot of it, being the primary source of food for all the life on the planet, it started to die. It's foolish. It's foolish. Exploiting a resource like that. But you don't really understand the the ecosystem and how it ties into everything else. It's dumb. That's what happens. It's like a it's like a house of cards or something, you know? You take one out and then everything else falls apart. Everything is reliant on everything else. I feel like there should be something over there. And there's obviously something over there. So let's grab this. Maybe there's just no more samples to take. I feel like maybe the developers forgot. Or just like, abandoned the idea of finding samples. When's the last time I found one? It's been so long. It's probably not been that long, but it feels like a long time. Alright, let's go check out that light source. Or should I go into the crater? I think I'm supposed to go into the crater because the fuel was down there. Well... Actually, no, I think I need the fuel to get over to the light, so let's just see what's down here first.
is this? It's beautiful. Part of a highly advanced vehicle, a landing site for the race of aliens that once lived here. And that is a research outpost. Hmm, there's a building down there. Something big and red as well. Oh, maybe there's... I think there's a lift up there or something. Maybe I need to power it. Aha! Uh -huh. Indeed I do. That really didn't seem like it would kill me. Um, I don't suppose it saved the lift, did it? It actually might have. Hello. It's like she's having a hard time breathing. I mean, she's partially photosynthetic, and there's not a lot of light. That could be a problem. Did the lift come? I think it did. Yeah, it did. Cool. It's another one of those portal platforms. This one's not covered by blood, though. Ancients. Look at that volcano in the distance. network of monoliths, huge power structures, and the number of walls and doors surrounding them. I still can't figure out how it all connects. Eh, 
And in you go. Bloop. Yeah, I think there's more. Whoops, overshot that one. That's an interesting symbol. Actually, it looks like a button. Yeah, let's see if this is a button. Okay, it's gotta be pressed in a certain order. I think it worked. God. I think the teleport pad is going to work now. I, I know, that's what I was heading up to see, game. Maybe it's just a bridge? Oh, it is. Yeah, looks like we've got another one. Doesn't seem like this needs power, though. I think it just needs the button pressed in the right order. Well, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's pressing buttons. Hmm, <laughs> There's something more I need to do. Hold on. And there's something up here, too.
It's an ancient block sliding puzzle. How quaint. What did that prompt say? Oh, there we go. Uh... Different sized notches. Okay. We've got a long one and two small notches. I can't make it leave the track, of course. Not surprisingly. That's the big one. So, we need to push all of these back. Doesn't exactly make a snug fit, but oh well. Okay, now... what about this one? What the hell am I supposed to do with that one? The point of this is just to join these, isn't it? So I need all these blocks out of the way? That's probably it. In which case, couldn't I just... Those aliens must have been very bored to design a system like that just to amuse themselves when they go to open bridges. Identity of the Ancients. Our scientists have made an amazing discovery today. We had previously believed the portal creators had abandoned this planet or had been killed by the root creatures, but we were wrong. The portal creators are merely an advanced form of the plant-like species that covers the planet. They must have colonized this world eons ago, bringing with them a variety of sister species to seed the planet and make it habitable. Actually, we believe the planet species are less an ecosystem of individuals and more like a dense global network. To be sure, there are some larger and some smaller species, but all seem to be able to communicate through the ubiquitous moss, the green fire, that is so vital to life on the planet. Considering all, considering all this and how the roots can also mimic endless forms, we are clearly in the presence of a superior and extraordinary form of life.
Well, that explains why they all look so similar. Just an advanced form of what I've already been seeing. Yep, a wonderful advanced... ...network of, uh, life forms ruined... ...by... ...human ignorance. Every single time I'm magically low on oxygen, there's always an oxygen resupply vehicle, like, a hundred feet in front of me. Whoa, what am I seeing over there? Hello. I found my wife after searching for several days. She had fallen off some rocks while hiking and was lying unconscious in the woods near our house. I'll never forget. She was covered in leaves and there was moss or something beginning to grow on her toes. I thought of that a few years ago and it made me realize how temporary our lives are. Sooner or later, we have to let go. Wow, she's really off and on with me, isn't she? First she's running away from me, and then I'm carrying her up a hill and helping her, and then she's making huge creatures rise up and creating a massive hole in the ground that I fall down into, and then I fall into a dreamlike world? You know, I don't really know where my relationship with her is going. Seems a bit confused. I'm getting mixed signals. Calm error. That doesn't surprise me. Blah, blah, blah. Lots of random gibberish. And then why are you searching for me here? You know where I am. You left me behind years ago. You can't find me now. We're too far apart. In distance and time. His wife? Of course, even this turns into a jumping puzzle. Where are you? Well, that makes things interesting. Make that? Whoa, look at that. Those creatures are coming out of the bottom of that.
Okay, now where the hell am I? I'm underground, obviously. Why did she put me down here? She obviously was in control of those creatures. What? There's no way it attacked her. The creature has the woman now, and she's clearly been injured. Drops of the woman's blood glow bright green on the cavern floor. I hope she's still alive. But I can't imagine how I'll be able to help her if that monster is nearby. Wasn't she lifting up her arms like she was making the creature rise out of the ground? It really seemed like she was in control of it. Creatures over there, behind her. Whoa. That's not good. Her pillar's falling apart. Where am I? Where am I now? What the hell just happened? Okay, well, um... It, it seems like the game wants me to think that I'm trying to save her and that she's in danger, but... I would think the creature wants her just so it can live, right? I mean, she supports it. And things of its kind to survive. In fact, it seems like that's exactly what's just happened. It's incorporated her into its body, and it looks like it's... Well, healing, I suppose. The woman I've been following is gone. Well... No, she's still here, all around me, having given herself up to the monster to save this planet. She willingly shared her life-saving cure at her own expense. I'd like to think she's more at home here, merged with this strange and beautiful ecosystem, than in the company of a lowly human being such as myself. Whatever the case, she saved my life, along with countless other beings on this planet.
Wait, is there something up there? It looks like a pathway. Oh, there's nothing. There's that stuff spewing from the top of that mountain again, but this time it's green instead of white. Well, I shouldn't say mountain, I suppose hill is probably more appropriate. It's not that big. be interesting. The portal to this planet was a one-way transport mechanism, as we discovered following our initial arrival. We originally assumed it would work like any doorway, that we could return through the same portal device at our convenience, but this was not the case. Thank thankfully, we eventually discovered the second portal, the departure portal, leading back home. This two-portal system was actually very efficient for transport purposes, and we developed our settlements appropriately to regulate travel back and forth as necessary. But we didn't comprehend at first. What we didn't comprehend at first was the lost time encountered through the portals. While transport happens quickly, time on Earth and on this planet are not in sync. We soon realized a week on this world was a month back on Earth. When the portals failed, this time disparity became great. When the arrival portal malfunctioned and killed so many people, we became afraid to use the departure portal to return to Earth. Over time, we started to see images we did not recognize on the other side. There were strange, towering structures, much more advanced than anything we'd ever seen before. Some believed the portal had recalibrated to the homeworld of the portal creators, but I knew the truth. The images in the portal were of Earth, but centuries in the future. Unfortunately, we never tested our hypothesis, given the completely unstable power reactions from the portal. It was far more likely that we would suffer a tragic transportation accident like our comrades from home attempting to reach us. There were no volunteers, and eventually no further opportunities before the portal went dark and cold. In retrospect, I wish we'd taken our chances. Wow, so time passes faster here. Yeah, the transport is quick, is quick, but uh, a week here is a month back on Earth, wow. The longer they waited, the greater the, the, greater the disparity became. So, how did I get here again? 
Like, I'm still wondering, did I just arrive here normally, or... Or what? Did I actually come here? You know, did they actually detect life on this planet and it simply was destroyed before I got here because the, the time differential and everything that had happened? I suppose it could be that simple. But I'm wondering if there's more to the plot than that. Hello there. What the hell? Why does the music change when I look a certain direction? It's like it becomes mono or something. That is really weird. Yep, there's more of them. They're rising back up to life. That's a return portal, isn't it? I think I'll take my chances. Let's do this. As I understand, you've kept your wife on life support. It sounds like you haven't been able to let her go. Actually, I did it for her. I want to give her every chance to live again. Even if I'm not here. That was a very cool ending. Well, let me get my post-game stretch in, as always. Ah, oh, that feels good. Whew. That was a pretty cool game. There's some things about it that... 
uh, kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And I felt like hurt the experience, but um, overall it was pretty damn good. It's a weird tale about the Soviet Union and settlements on an alien planet and ancient life forms gone and then returned. And an astronaut coming from the past to a new world, one completely unfamiliar. Alright, so I think I'll save my extended thoughts for a review type video. So in the meantime, I just want to say thank you for coming along with me on my journey through Lifeless Planet. Thank you for watching. What will you miss most about Earth? Well, my wife first of all, and, and Earth itself. All of it. She saw the beauty of this planet long before I did. You truly loved her. Of course. And if you lose someone you love, even 20 light years probably isn't enough distance to make you stop missing them.